everyone. It is me again. As you probably can see that. It is Friday, April the 16th. Day 106 on our Project Jesus 365. Uh, actually, today is my sister's birthday. Uh, my sister's birthday is today, and my nephew, which is her son's birthday, is uh, Sunday. Their birthdays are two days apart. Well, I guess you know, several years and two days apart. <laughs> That'd be kind of hard to do, but uh, so uh, yeah, I uh, I broke the news to her this evening that I had actually ordered my nephew the rifle, and actually she took it well. I, well, better than I figured she would. I figured she'd throw a fit, uh, especially considering we just we just had a tragedy here in in the community with a a girl. Uh, and actually, a 15 or 16 year old girl, we still don't know what happened. She was playing with a gun, or some something happened. A pistol, it went off and uh, and killed her. So, um, you know, it's sad when things like that happen. But you know, it, you know, it just it makes me preach more and more. You know, gun safety, gun safety. You know, I don't think we should outlaw guns. I think we should teach kids and people how to how to use them and how to be around them. And that's you know my nephew. I've he's been shooting with me quite a bit, and you know I've been I've been teaching him to shoot some guns, and um, so I you know he's he's 16 or going to be 16 in two days, and you know um, I had a gun in my hands when I was probably 11 or 12. You know uh, that just started me. You know I guess you know that that's not really early you know compared to a lot of people, but you know uh, I just think you know. People, need, especially guys, need to know how to shoot. You know, I just really do. You know, because you never know when things are going to happen. You never know when the economy may get so bad that we may have to start hunting our food again. You know, I mean, I hope it don't get to that, but it could. Or not just necessarily talking about that. You know, it could, uh, you know, you may catch yourself in a spot sometime where you where you just have to shoot something. You know, that's, that's just, you know, uh, always a possibility. So I think you should know how to do it. So anyway, like I told you guys last night, I ordered him a 22 uh, Savage uh, rifle, a semi-automatic, 10-round uh, magazine. So uh, I'm gonna let him have be that be his first real gun, and, and he can start from there. So anyway, I guess that takes care of that. I kind of got off subject a little bit, but uh, I was gonna do a vid. To, I was just gonna tell you guys on my uh, P229, my my pistol I bought last night, but. I'm just not gonna have time tonight, guys. I've been fooling here all night trying to get a, a printer working. I got another printer from Walmart, traded the bad one in that I told you guys about, and got another one. And uh, this time the printer worked fine, but it took me three tries to get the installation software to install correctly. I would it would get like halfway done and then it would just freeze up and it would stop. I don't know if it had a problem in the disk or what it was, but it took three tries. To get that installed, and I finally did. So this printer works, so I'm glad for that. And uh, I've actually got to send property or not property tax. Yeah, I had to pay that yesterday. Don't even want to get started on property tax. I don't think you should have to pay tax on something that you own, guys. Once you own it, I, sales tax is fine, but paying tax on your property and your house every year, I think that's <laughs> I think it's unconstitutional. But anyway, I had to pay that yesterday. But no, I've got to send my uh, sales tax for uh, for my company. You know, every month by the 20th of the month, we have to send the sales tax that we collect out. And uh, so, in order to make it by the 20th, I have to send it out tomorrow. So I've got to get all that ready tonight. So uh, and like I said, I've been fooling with this printer. I actually took my gun apart and looked at it and cleaned it a little bit. You know, trying to see how dirty it was inside and it wasn't that bad I mean I got probably two square inches you know on a paper towel black out of it but that was about it so I think it's gonna be alright I don't think it's one of the infamous dirty dirty six hours so anyway uh, but that's what I was just gonna tell you guys uh, I'm not gonna be able to get the uh, 229 uh, first initial thought video done tonight I'll try to do it either tomorrow or Sunday guys so uh, anyway, here I go. Got to get going before my uh, bowl of raspberry rumble ice cream melts. 
got it sitting here on the floor next to me. I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried that. It's from Swans. Swans, you know, the trucks, the big yellow trucks that drive around and deliver food. It's from them. It's called Raspberry Rumble, and it's probably the best ice cream I've ever ate. So, uh, probably a toss-up between that and uh, Edie's Old Fashioned Rocky Road. Between one of those two. Be a, be a big toss-up. So, uh... I've got a bowl of it sitting next to me, so I've got to get done before it melts. So here we go, guys. Proverbs 12, 11. And I hope we're starting to back in the right spot, guys, because I don't remember. And this is just where I have my iPod set. So if I'm repeating something, just forgive me. Hearing Scripture twice won't hurt us, will it? So here we go. He that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread. But he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. The wicked desireth the net of evil men, but the root of the righteous yieldeth fruit. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips, but the just shall come out of trouble. A man shall be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth, and the recompense of a man's hands shall be rendered unto him. The way, of, the way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but he that hearkeneth unto counsel is wise. A fool's wrath is presently known, but a prudent man, prudent man covereth shame. He that speaketh truth sheweth forth righteousness, but a false witness deceit. There is that that speaketh like the piercings of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is health. The lip of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil, but to the counselors of peace is joy. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. Lying lips are abomination to the Lord, but they that deal truly are his delight. Guys, I'm going to stop right there. I think it's about 11 verses. Uh, still going to do that shout out video as soon as I can think of it and write the names down because I can think of 90% of them off the top of my head but there's a couple that I know I would miss and maybe I would get their names wrong you know their YouTube names so I'm just going to wait till I can get that right but anyway guys I'm going to do that soon look for my gun review vid on uh, well, this will be on the knee down for God channel not the sold out to Jesus channel but uh, we'll be doing that uh, I've got several other gun vids I need to do. You know, I've, I've got bukus of guns that I've not uh, shown yet. And I've, uh, I've actually got another gun in layaway. Uh, I don't, don't ask me why I needed another gun, but I put a Ruger LCR in layaway, the polymer revolver. Uh, I've already got a Smith & Wesson airweight revolver that I was thinking about using for like an ankle holster gun, but I guess you can't never have too many guns, so uh, anyway, uh, my buddy's got it, and it's a good price on it, and I wanted to buy one because around here you can't find them. He's been trying, uh, he's been trying like six or seven months, he told me to get this gun, and this is the first one he was able to get. They're so popular right now that you can't get them, so I figured, you know, if I ever wanted one, I might as well get it. So I put it in layaway, you know, that's the way I buy most of my guns, layaway, because I can't, you know, I just can't pay that big money down. Uh, I mean that big money all at once. I actually did buy the six hour um, cash in one lick because uh, the Lord blessed us. The, one of my coal companies that owed me a lot of money actually sent me a check for a lot of the money they owed me. So uh, I splurged a little bit and treated myself. So anyway guys, thank you all. I, I'm sorry to get away from the subject. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind that and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye.